Hi guys, here is Tushalek with Industrial Steampunk YouTube Hop with lots of fabulous, fabulous, talented designers and fantastic sponsors. You can see them now on the screen and um, the rules are also mentioned on the screen. So you can see all of them. My project is um, Altered Steampunk Heart and uh, maybe I used unusual colors, but who told us that there are only one color scheme that we can use. So as you can see, I have used uh, some white gesso to prime my base. The base comes from Artistico. It's a Polish, it's a Polish manufacturer with uh, fabulous uh, bases. They are very sturdy. They are um, brown as you as you could see and uh, they come uh, in many various shapes so um, when uh, gesso has dried I uh, was able to use uh, Finavar stencil and Finavar 3d gloss gel medium uh, to apply it through the stencil and to create another layer for my uh, product. Uh, please uh, be aware that each um, medium you use has to dry before you apply another one. The same is with uh, paints, with uh, uh, all different um, media. As you can see, uh, I was using my phone. I wanted to show you how you can use your phone uh, to make your working with the project easier. Um, I used lots of mechanicals and uh, other um, embellishments, uh, also made of uh, resin and uh, um, Finavar or Prima marketing molds. And uh, I uh, made a composition using all of them. I placed them in different places to see how they will um, uh, look um, when they will be. Um, layered and um, I have checked it many times and when I was happy with the composition I made I just took my phone and I made a photo. Uh, why? Because uh, in any moment I can take a look on the photo I have made with my phone and uh, it is um, kind of uh, support in a moment when you have to take everything away and to glue everything down because sometimes we are very happy with the composition we have made oh, now I'm I'm looking and I'm checking if I uh, placed all the details in a in a, um, positions I, I wanted them to be and it's very 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 useful um, technique so our phones are really great for it I am using hot glue gun because um, it's very uh, quick. Um, it's very quick method to to glue everything down. Uh, you may also use different uh, different techniques. Also, some media from Finavar. You can use heavy body gel medium, which is really great because it holds everything in place. But it takes takes time uh, for it to to be dry. So. If you need to work quickly or if you don't have enough time or if you are impatient or if you are in a very creative mood you can always use also heavy um, heavy glow uh, gun and uh, when I finished my first part of composition I decided that I would like to add some more some more uh, embellishments some more elements um, almost all of them are Finavar Mechanicas, some of them are mid form and uh, also uh, you could see uh, some molds created with, uh, with resin. Now you can see my creative process. I try to layer some elements, I check how they look like and when I'm happy with it I'm gluing all the things together. So this is um, 
layered flower um, and I will try to place it onto my heart. I'm also using hot glue gun. For me it's very very it's great technique and I use this I use this tool very often and I like it a lot. Now it's time to cover everything with uh, white gesso uh, because we would like to have uh, one color or two colors or three colors but um, when you have uh, metal elements they are shiny and the surface is uh, not very good for um, covering with um, new colors of paints and also if you use uh, paints that are not totally uh, opaque you need to change the color of the mechanicals so they would be more uh, white or more black it depends uh, the mood you would like to create if you would like to create more delicate more shabby atmosphere you use white gesso and if you would like to have more dramatic look you could use black gesso now as you can see i'm using liquid acrylics these are paints from finavar and they are not totally opaque and um, you can create various um, various shades um, but I use uh, I used to dilute them with a special media that comes with the whole series, not with water, because um, if you dilute them with water, they are more more like um, watercolor. But if you dilute them with this special medium, they are more like acrylics. And I wanted my my. Um, be covered with um, paint more like acrylics but still a bit transparent um, because I would like it to be my wall hanger my home decor and I would like to have an opportunity to clean it also with water and do not be afraid that the colors will will be changed so I'm using um, liquid acrylic but sometimes with um, this special medium and sometimes without you can see that sometimes I dip my brush in uh, liquid acrylic that is not diluted and sometimes I dip my brush um, in a mixture of in this uh, special medium and uh, and liquid acrylics. And the list of all supplies I have used is at the bottom of this video. I would like to make my heart um, with shades of green. In some places the green is more deep and uh, in some places it's more mm, transparent, more translucent, uh, much lighter and uh, and this is uh, how I create um, the depth of the whole product. I make sure that uh, all the places are very well covered with the paint so there will be no uh, blank um, spaces, no white, no metallic, no any other color, uh, only the colors I decided to use. To add more depth to the product, I decided to use uh, another paint, the Sparks, uh, and another another color. So you can see that now I'm applying blue shades onto the 
green um, onto the green liquid acrylics and because I have weighted uh, liquid acrylics to be totally dry I can add another colors, another paints, another media just please make sure you wait till um, with uh, another layer till the previous one is totally dry To make the colors really pop, um, I took uh, white matte wax from Finavar and I have to admit I really love it and um, I um, covered lots of um, places with this white wax which is totally matte when it dries and uh, also it's totally opaque uh, it's very similar uh, in a final look it's very similar to white gesso but it's much easier to be applied and uh, of course it's totally different medium uh, but if we are talking about finishing touches it's absolutely fabulous and i really love it you will see uh, soon how the project will look like with uh, touch of white matte finafar wax. When everything dried, I decided to add a bit of micro beads. So I took a three dimensional 3D gel medium from Pinavar and uh, I added three colors of micro beads uh, blue, green, and uh, black. Uh, as you can see, I mixed everything very well and I started applying on my project in different areas um, spreading them a bit and uh, when everything will be totally dry uh, 3D gel medium is uh, totally transparent so um, all micro bits will be really really great visible And that's it for today. I hope you like my project. Uh, please do not forget to follow all the YouTube hop uh, stops and to subscribe all the channels, to leave comment everywhere, uh, to have a chance for winning a prize from our fabulous sponsors. Also, um, please take a look at all the fabulous projects by very talented uh, ladies. I am really happy I could be here today with you. Thank you.